Hey, what's going on, guys? I can actually make a review before I go to bed for the for the JP side. So we're gonna be doing that, so I don't have to do two videos in the morning. So we have Pog. Pog is in the game, guys. He's here. All right. So his STMR is all right. His vision card. Uh, this is one of my main gripes. They're making them so hard to obtain, but they're making the vision card terrible for some reason. So it is what it is. He's SLB. He is the same as everyone else in terms of how they've been making these Neo Vision Plus units, where they've been making them absolutely bare bones. If you if you thought other units were bare bones, there these units are always bare bones. Uh, they're made built in particular that you, they need support. You need to support them. So this guy will definitely be needing a lot of support. And so. He has a really strong modifier. Yes, he does. If you are able to get to his SLB, he is one of the strongest in the game, especially under the next unit we'll be talking about. They're under her leader skill. This guy will be the best hit unit in the game by far in terms of being a finisher. He's not a chainer, as you can see here. But even his regular LB is quite strong. So, what you do if you have him at EX3, which is. I mean, if you're if you have any of these Neo Vision Plus units at EX3, you are a whale or godly lucky, one of those two things. So what you do is you use a normal LB, or you would use this, and then on turn two, after getting some, some support, you use regular LB because that regular LB, as you can see here, is quite strong. Four hundred ten times, on top of the hundred times you're getting with this, and. And then on top of that, you're getting this. So it's already stronger than regular Neo Vision units already with just the regular LB. And the reason why you'd want to do that already is because you, this is on a timer. You have five turns only and he's not a Brave Shift unit or anything. I guess that wouldn't really matter, but yeah. So it, then you would have, you'd have a full power on his SLB turn on EX3. And so you'd have 500% LB damage, you'd have 100% light, or water amp, sorry, water amp. Uh, I'm so used to the guy being light, but he's not light this time. Alright, so he's definitely going to be up there. Like, there's no question. How long is he going to be up there? I don't know, because he's a finisher. I think that the game has been straying away a little bit up from finishers lately, because all the new vision units, uh, new vision plus units really, uh, so far have been needing a lot of support. Like, Darfina needs like two people to support her. So there's no real room to put a finisher on. So I don't know where, how this guy is going to go in the long term. But in, right now, I'm going to be giving him an 8.5 out of 10. I think he's a very strong damage dealer. He's probably the number one damage dealer in terms of being a finisher. In terms of being a chainer, you can't get there because he's not a chainer. He has some chaining, but you're not going to be using, you're not gonna be using that. Maybe this, uh, but not the other stuff. All right, 8.5. Okay, so we have Sophie here. Uh, decent hat. Aquatic killer. Get that half for aquatic killer, guys. Uh, the LB fill rate is nice. And then her card, of course, is very good if you're able to get this, but you're really not. You're, she's probably going to be the only one who benefits from this, because this one's water. This one's evokers, I believe. So, really niche. <laughs> she does not have infinite turns. And basically, if you want a TLDR... This is basically Water Esper Roca, but better. Well, much better leader skill. And she has a 100% Water Amp for everybody. That will be very useful for Cog, for sure. 40% Rod and Peril right off the bat. And Store Buff, pretty typical stuff. I'm not going to be using her... Oh, this is her Brave Shift form. Uh, you're not going to be using her base LB, I think, right? No, her base LB is terrible. Unlike the other, unlike Roka, where her base LB was just okay, it was fine to use. This base LB you wouldn't use, even though it's only 30% Rod and Peril. You're not going to be using that. A thousand percent attack and magic, guys. This is what this is what Pog needs. Pog, <laughs> I can't believe I can say that in this game now, guys. All right, so she's good. 40% Rod and Peril on the Brave Shift LBs. This is what you're going to be using. I think they may have made a mistake on, on Roka's L base LB because both of their LBs, her LBs were useful and I think they changed it, uh, this one to be so you only can use this one. Okay, so she's good. I think also I'm going to give her 
No, I can't. I'm gonna give her higher than that. 8.9. She would have gotten the 9 if she was infinite turns, but she has a limited turn duration, and also her base LB is trash. So that's what I'm judging that on. But everything else is good, including this 100% water, uh, water amp. Uh, for three turns, which is good. Alright, so... I normally don't talk about these units anymore, but... Surprisingly, these crowns are good! 200 times modifier. That's insane. So they just straight up get a 200 times modifier. On top of Tita's STMR, Reagan's STMR, or Last Will's STMR for the LB mod buff, and if you're fighting a human enemy, that's, that's huge. Like this is, this might be one of the best crowns of all time. Like if I made a tier list, this would be in the top five. Uh, just a flat, uh, and they have infinite turns too, so you could swap between them if you wanted to, but I think their base LB is better for chaining purposes, non-elemental. So you could fit them into anything. Uh, so 600 times, 650, t oh, 600 times, uh, and then 650 times in the Brave Shift LB here. If you wanted to use them as a finisher. So, very good. Like, I can't believe they got this good of a, a, a buff. Like, this is really solid. So, the only thing they need is a better Katana and Peril. And also a... Uh, um, an amp of some kind. 100% amp of some kind. Because they don't have their own. Well, they... Technically, they do. But it's very low. Like, you can... It's like 15% or something low. Like, a very low amount. So... Very good crowns. I'm gonna give this like a 9.5 in terms of crowns. Like that's really good. This is exactly what pe some people need. This unit has been plaguing people's accounts for a long time and now they throw us a bone and give us something really good. So good on them for that. <laughs> One downside I see, maybe this isn't updated but they don't get any flat attacks so they might have low attack. But I think this is still a very good budget budget chainer slash finisher, especially since everybody and their grandma should have this unit by now at EX3. So, and there's also potential for them to get that um, EX upgrade as well, the EX4 upgrade thing. And then finally, we have Aya Brea here. Uh, we don't have the Dwayne information yet. Uh, Dwayne apparently is coming to J JP. Uh, so Aya Brea, infinite turns, which is very good. Uh, and she's a lot better than her global counterpart. Of course she is. But she's basically the same here. But she gets a, she gets 170 times a modifier buff. So you're not going to be using her base LB. Because she already has 40% gun and peril and an ability already. So you're not going to be using that. What you will be using is her Brave Shift LB. She has 150% fire amp, which she, she had on uh, global. But... <laughs> 40% gun in peril. She's 170 times mod buff. And she's non-elemental, guys. So even if you don't want to use the 150% fire amp, non-elemental 27 hit LB plus a decent leader skill for guardian, whatever that means. Guardian allies. And fire 100, fire, uh, 500%. This is free, by the way. She's free. She's, she's being given out for free. So... For free-to-play players, a 500% leader skill for free. That's great. This is pretty good too, I like this. Just a trade of damage mitigation plus some demon mitigation. That's not too bad. So, all in all, she's very good. She has 650 times, which is the, the premium mod for non-Neovision Plus units. Premium units that are not Neovision Plus have 650 times, so she is very good. That's why she says she's free, like I keep saying. I, I gotta uh, say that. Um, um, pretty good. Obviously, her S tumor was changed. I, I think, or maybe is this the same? Hold on, is this the same? What does she have in global again? I think this may be different. Oh, her S tumor is worse on on JP. That's interesting. Her her S tumor is far worse. How did they how did they mess that up? It has a lot less attack than on the JP, on the global version. How did they mess that up? I I don't understand. 
How did they mess that up? Okay, so let's, let's look at this. I know I'm taking a lot of time on this, sorry guys. But this is actually bothering me now. What? What are you- what? This S Teamer is far better. You would think that the S Teamer on JP would be far better, but it's actually not. Wow. So, I mean, it still gives her 500 flat attack, but... The J the global version had a lot of stuff that's associated with that STMR, and this one is just like not really that special. Okay, well, it's still you're still gonna use it, I guess. And it looks like she's still getting this gun, like a uh, global got, so that's something. So I'm gonna give her a 8.75, and I'm rating her that high because she's free, at least one copy, and you can just put her in the shard dungeon, I guess. But very good, very good unit. That's for sure. Uh, so this is pretty good, pretty good batch overall. I feel like this is a nice batch to close out the anniversary. If this is, is actually is closing out the anniversary, we don't know yet. There could still be one or two more banners. Oh my jeez! But hopefully, I can get Sophie for that leader skill. Very nice leader skill. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta get to bed. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.